When stealth camping, I carried my gear on a pole similar to the furka used by ancient Roman soldiers or the bindle stick used by American hobos. I set up base camp at a regular campground and told the park host that I would be taking nature videos and would be away from the campsite most of the time. This provided cover for stealth activity. If I was discovered in areas where camping was not permitted, I would say that I was watching the cameras. It is easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. There were no signs saying to camp only in designated sites. Enjoy a super meal, so easy to make, mountain house combined with acorn squash. Wow. And I'm only using half of the mountain house meal. That'll be another meal for another night. And uh, next to my base camp hammock. This is so comfortable, particularly with a hammock sock. I used the bluff behind base camp to test my cameras for night sky videography. It was important to make sure that everything worked before going stealth. I woke up early in anticipation of the day ahead and started with a good breakfast. Breakfast is served. Coffee with hot chocolate, banana, and a breakfast bar. Bon appétit.
I crossed the river to the far side of the park following designated trails as indicated on the All Trails phone app. There were no signs saying to camp only in designated sites. I stopped to look at ants on the trail. They're always busy and always interesting. You know, in an emergency, they are edible and provide a good source of protein. Be sure to boil them first, though. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, they'll bite. I checked out several locations off trail for wildlife and uh, the possibility of spending the night and there was one that was particularly interesting, so I walked down to the river. Ah, a vulture roost. I'm going to watch vultures up close and personal. This is a perfect location. I'm not easily visible. I'm close to the vultures, uh, and I can see across the river. I can see what's happening, and uh, wow, this is gonna be great. set up camp, I'm not going to need this mask anymore because I'm pretty sure I won't see anybody. I'm camping under a vulture roost. They're looking at me. <laughs> anyway, man, I'm thirsty after all of that. It is time for lunch. 
Mm. Water is so good. And you ask what's for lunch? Sardines and a tangerine. Uh, this is so good. I've been hearing a few birds too. Hopefully they'll be captured on the uh, video. Man, it's pretty out here. It's supposed to be a clear night, so I'm going to put my cameras up and see if we get stars and whatever else. We may have some nighttime animals come to investigate me. I have a tarp, but didn't put it out because I want to see the sky. And I usually feel safer when I'm not enclosed, when I'm stealth camping, because I can see if anybody comes nearby or if any animals come nearby. I certainly don't expect any. And in this location, I don't have any problems with lights because I'm, I'm removed from everywhere. And so uh, any little light that I have isn't going to be found. One of the important things to do if you're stealth camping is to be extra sure that you don't leave a trail when you walk in. And when you walk around, always take a different path so that it doesn't start a trail. And the second thing that's very important is, I guess, the obvious. Don't leave any evidence that you are here. Uh, any, any branches that are bent, anything like, anything like that. Make sure that everything is back just the way that it was. And certainly no trash. Ooh, I see a honeybee. A honeybee's on the tripod. This is so comfortable. If you haven't tried it, make a half bridge hammock. You'll love it. I can watch the vultures from here. I'm going to go swimming pretty soon. As the sun was setting, hundreds of turkeys walked down to the river.
They drank water and talked with the vultures. Amazing. People are afraid of us. They think we carry disease and death. Although we eat dead and rotting animals, we don't get sick. Strong stomach acids kill virtually all bacteria and viruses. So our droppings are disease free. Therefore, we play an important role in nature, cleaning disease out of the environment. Unlike many birds, I don't have a voice box and am silent, except for hisses and grunts. <sighs> The vultures were hissing, grunting, and flapping their wings much of the night. It was interesting to listen to their conversations. I finally got to sleep about three in the morning. Always leave your campsite cleaner than you found it. Leave no trace.
Lunch is served. Campbell's chicken noodle soup. Snap peas. Tangerines. Avocado. And raisins. A tasty meal, easy to make. Mmm. Mother always made me Campbell's chicken noodle soup whenever I felt a little sad or under the weather or, or sick. And it still is the same today. <coughs> It brings me back to early memories and uh, the wonderful time that I had as a child. Mm. leave your campsite cleaner than you found it. Until next time, peace and stay safe. <laughs>